President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The chamber has already informed the party that the chamber will hear two TC La chambre a déjà visé les parties qu'elle entendra deux TC W881 cet après-midi. In relation to Jobang Tmong Dam website and after which after hearing this uh, witness, the chamber will continue to hear TCW289. And the chamber will make its announcement about other witnesses to be to certify it before this court at the end of the session today. Now, la fin de l'audience aujourd'hui, la chambre fera une déclaration sur les autres témoins à déposer. You are instructed to invite two TCW into the courtroom. President Judge Lavenge, you have the floor. Le président, la parole est au juge Lavenge. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président, pour les parties. Il me semble entendu que nous allions entendre ensuite le témoin de TCW289. Or, il me semble que le prochain témoin sera le TCW889. President, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. How do you call yourself? Answer, Kan Thol. Response, I am called Kan Thol. Mic is not activated, Mr. President. The micro du président. When were you born, Mr. Witness? When did you born, Mr. Witness? Please await, Mr. Witness. Please observe the microphone. 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 Mic is not activated. President. Le président. What is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? President, please Et wait for témoin, the microphone to go je on before you speak. Que votre micro soit allumé pour parler. Answer. Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis agriculteur. Je cultive le riz. Question. What are Question. your parents' names? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father's name is Na Som An, and my mother's et ma mère Ton Pon. Ton Ton. President, what about your wife? Question. What is her name, and how many children do you have together? Connectez votre épouse et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. My Réponse. wife's name is Tang Salam. Mon we have four Tang children. Salam, mais nous avons quatre enfants. President, thank you, Question. Mr. Witness. To your best knowledge, Merci. do you have 
Avez-vous un lien quelconque avec les accusés et les dans ce dossier Answer, no. Réponse, non. Question, have you Question. already taken an oath before you appear in this courtroom? Answer, Réponse. yes, I have already oui. taken an oath. President, thank you. The chamber would like to inform Merci. your rights and obligations as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber. À ce titre. You may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. Vous incriminer. Your rights against self-incrimination. C'est votre droit, votre protection contre l'autre obligation. Your obli obligations, as a witness, in the proceeding before the chamber, you must respond to Vous any questions by the bench or relevant parties, par les except where juges. your response Sauf or comment si to those questions may incriminate you as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Do you understand, Mr. Witness? Comprenez-vous ce que je vous ai dit? Answer: Réponse. Yes. Oui. Question: Question. Mr. Witness, have you ever provided an Monsieur interview to? Any investigators of the OCIJ? Entendu par les enquêteurs du bureau des juges d'instruction. If yes, uh, how many times did de fois? it take place? Answer: I was Réponse. interviewed once oui. at Boisnoul village. Dans le village de Boisnoul. President, thank you. Président. Merci. Before you appear in this courtroom, have you reviewed or read the written, written record of the interview that you provided to the investigator of the OCIJ? Yes, I have read it already. Oui, je l'ai lu. President, to your best knowledge, would you tell the court whether the written records of the interview reflect ce procès verbal est-il un reflet what you provided to the investigator of the OCIJ? Answer: Yes, Réponse. it is consistent. Oui, c'est conforme à ma mémoire. President, under Internal Rule 91 bis of the ECCC, the floor is now given to the co-prosecutor first before other parties. And the combined time for the co-prosecutors and lead co-lawyers for civil parties is the whole afternoon today. You may now proceed, co-prosecutor. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, co good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honor, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. My name is Seng Leung. I am the deputy, the national deputy co-prosecutor. I have 
some questions on three topics today, and I need your clarification for the chamber. The first topic I would like to explore is about your background before and after 1975. The second topic is about your work and function at Tropiantmo work site. And I will explore more concerning working conditions at Tropiantmo work site. And after my turn, my international colleagues will have some questions for you as well. My first question Can you tell the court where you were born and when you were born? I was born in Trapiangtmo Kandal village in 1958. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Question. When did you join the resistance? I mean the Khmer Rouge Quand resistance. La résistance Khmer Rouge. Answer: No, I did not Réponse. join any Khmer Rouge non. resistance. Je ne suis pas joint à quelconque résistance Khmer Rouge. Question. Immediately after 1975, uh, what did you do and where was your workplace? Answer. After 1975, I was part of a mobile unit. Question. Where was your mobile unit stationed? Answer, I uh, was working in a mobile unit at the district level. Answer, what about the district? Question. Quel district? What was its name? Answer, Réponse. I uh, was in a mobile unit and Donc, I had to work in different places until series of one district. Dans le district de Question. What was Question. your mobile unit's name? Quel était le nom de cette unité? Witness, Réponse. could you repeat your question? Vous répétez la question? Question. Question. You told the court that uh, you were working vous avez in a mobile unit at the district level. Unité au in niveau which du district, district Et dans were quel you district? in? Answer. Réponse. It was in Phnom Srok district. C'était dans Phnom Srok. Question. Question. Can you tell the court or what did you do in that mobile unit? Et que faisiez-vous au sein de cette unité? Answer. Réponse. First, uh, I was assigned to work in a mobile unit. Au début, on m'a affecté à I unité mobile. I did nothing in that mobile unit. Je n'ai rien fait. I uh, was on a mobile question. What was question. your position or function in that mobile quel unit? Était votre poste? Vos fonctions au sein de cette unit? Answer. Later Réponse. on, I was the deputy tard, chief of le chef adjoint a platoon. De... Une section. Co-prosecutor, please uh, give your response to my specific answer. I am not asking you about uh, the time that you were working at the Pengtmo work site. I would like to know about the time when you were working in the mobile unit. What was your position or function in that mobile unit? Answer. When I was Réponse. part of a mobile unit, I held Quand no position. Mobile, je pas de poste. 
Court Prosecutor, I would like to Question. backtrack a little bit, and I need your peur, clarification. Vous were you a base person, or were you a new person? Étiez-vous du peuple de base ou du peuple nouveau? Answer. Réponse. I was a base person. Du peuple de base. Question. Question. Now I would like to ask about the time when you were in a mobile unit. Que How many members were there in your mobile, mobile unit? Membres, uh, y avait -il au sein unité? Answer. First, there Réponse. were about 100 members début, in that unit. Question. Question. Answer. You stated that Question. initially there were about 100 members in Vous your unit, and later on, how many Environ. were there in your unit? Par la suite, en était Answer. Réponse. Later on, uh, the number plus tard. members uh, was reduced to 30 people. Nous étions 30. Co prosecutor. You stated that later Question. on there were only 70 vous members in your mobile suite, unit. Vous étiez, vous Where did the 30 other members go? Autres. Answer. Réponse. Some of them came back to uh, the local area or the Certains base area, and some who were sick uh, were referred to hospital. Ont été à hospital. Question. Why Question. did they uh, run away Pourquoi from that mobile unit? President, uh, you may now proceed uh, to counsel for Mr. Kyusapon. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je pense qu'en français, il y a eu un problème de traduction parce que les chiffres ne font pas sens. Est-ce que Monsieur le coprocureur pourrait reposer la question pour que nous ayons euh, euh, des chiffres cohérents Parce que de, nous avons entendu de la bouche du témoin en français qu'à la fin, il n'était que 30. Donc, du coup, la question du procureur euh, sur le nombre de 70 euh, n'était pas claire pour nous. Est-ce qu'il pourrait... Could we ask the prosecutor ask the West question again because the numbers were not the same in French. In the beginning, in French, we heard the witness said that they were only 30, and then the question was, where did the 30 go? So could the question be asked again, please? President, you may not proceed. I heard the translation in English. Oui, en It's 30 as well. C'était 30. Mr. Witness, uh, can you tell the court, you first stated that there were 100 oui, vous members in Au début, your vous avez dit unit que vous étiez une centaine dans votre unité, on, et que par la suite, uh, only 70 il n'y en avait que 70 members remain in that unit. Is that correct? Est-ce bien le cas? Uh, Réponse. Answer. Uh, later on, there were non, only suite, 70 nous, members il in que 70 my unit. Au sein de mon unité. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to go back to my question I put earlier. I would like to know where were the 30 members gone? Où sont passés ces What happened? Autres membres? Que passé? But Answer. Réponse. Among the 30 members disappeared, uh, some of them uh, went back to the base area and some other were hospitalized. Question. Court prosecutor, can you tell the court why did people flee the mobile unit? Pourquoi les gens se sont enfuis de l'unité mobile? Answer. Because the mobile unit uh, needed to move to work in a far away place from uh, the birth village, de, and uh, they had to sleep in the rain. Et ils sous la pluie. Question. What about you? Question. 
Et qu'en est-il de vous Did you voluntarily uh, join the, the mobile unit or were you required to work in that mobile unit Ou vous a-t-on forcé de le faire Answer. I was required Réponse. to be part of that mobile oui, unit. Je devais en faire partie. Question. Question. You stated that uh, they required you to be part of that vous mobile dites unit. Que vous a Why à did you not refuse? Pourquoi n'avez-vous pas refusé? Answer: I uh, did not have the courage to refuse the, courage de the assignment. Question: Why? Mais pourquoi? Answer: Réponse. I was afraid of them. J'avais peur d'eux. Question: Question: What were you afraid of? Et de quoi aviez-vous peur? Answer. Réponse. I was afraid of their regulations and uh, their treatments against me. De façon dont ils pourraient me traiter. Co prosecutor, what do you mean Question. by saying I uh, was afraid of uh, the regulation and the treatments against you? Could you tell the court uh, precisely? President, Mr. Vinesa, please wait Monsieur for the microphone to go on before you give your simple. response. Could you repeat your answer, que please? Witness, I uh, was afraid that I would be taken away and killed. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, I would like now to ask you about the work at Tropéang Tmor work site. Did you ever participate in Tropéang Tmor construction? Have you ever participated in the construction of the barrage? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I oui. myself participated in the construction of Tropéang Tmor. Question. Question. Where was Tropéang Tmor construction site? Où était le what uh, district, what uh, district? Sector, sector was it in? Answer. Réponse. It was situated in Tropiang Tmor village, Poicha sub district, Phnom Srok district, Bat Dambong province. province de in sector 5, dans le sector south. Cinq. Northwest zone. Zone Northwest. Co prosecutor, thank you, Question. Mr. Witness. Merci. When did the construction start? Quand les travaux ont-ils débuté? Answer. Réponse. It started on. Ils ont 14 euh, commencé le 14 février 1977. 1977. Co-prosecutor, thank you. L'accusation. Merci. When did you start work at that Topang Tmo work site? Et quand avez-vous commencé à travailler sur le site? Answer. Réponse. I started work on uh, the 14th of February 1977. Le 14 Question. Question. When uh, the construction site uh, was in was inaugurated, uh, did any uh, ceremony uh, hold at that place? Une cérémonie d'inauguration? Answer. Réponse. The conference was held at that time during the inauguration. Une conférence pour la pour l'inauguration des travaux. Question. Did you know Question. anyone who participated in the, the construction with you? Connaissez-vous des gens qui ont Answer. participé yes. aux travaux de construction avec vous? Réponse. Oui. 
question. question. What were their names? Comment s'appelait-il? Yes. Réponse oui. Sir Sam. Sir Sam. Question. Question. Do you know who chaired uh, the inauguration the Savez conference? Savez-vous qui a présidé à la conférence d'inauguration? Answer. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Co-prosecutor, could you tell Question. the name? Et and who was this person? Person? Qui était-elle? Co-prosecutor, okay. could you repeat your response? Uh, what was that person's name? Comment s'appelait cette personne? Answer. Tanyum was the one Tanyum. who chaired the conference. Tanyum qui a présidé la conférence. Question. What did uh, Tanyum say at that time in dit? the conference? À ce moment-là. Answer. He Réponse. stated that the workforce at Tropiang Tomo work site, uh, there were about uh, 15,000 of them working there. There were about 15,000 people who worked on the site of the chantier. Question. Question. When you started work at the Pangtomo work site, did you still remain in the same mobile unit, chantier, or were you relocated, relocated into another unit? Uh, Answer. Réponse. First. I uh, was in on a mobile basis Au in début, the cooperatives. Dans les coopératives, dans le sein d'une unité mobile. Co-prosecutor, you stated initially that uh, you were part of a mobile unit in Phnom Strok district. Partie unité mobile dans le district de Phnom Strok. After you had been uh, relocated uh, to Donc work at the Pangtomo construction site, uh, did you still remain in the same mobile unit or were you relocated into another unit? Un autre groupe? Answer. Réponse. After I uh, was stationed in the district, I was removed or relocated uh, to work in a cooperative. Co-prosecutor. So does it mean that you stop uh, being part of the mobile unit at Numstrok district? Is that true? At that time, Réponse. my uh, members in the whole mobile unit were relocated -là, to work in a cooperative, and uh, we were required to build uh, Tropiantmo Dam. Construire le barrage de Tropiantmo. Co-prosecutor, Could you tell the court when did the construction when the construction ended? Answer. Could you tell the court when the construction ended? Answer. The Pangtomo construction site ended in 1977. Question. Question. What about you? When did you stop working at that work site? Did you stop working there before the construction ended or after it ended? Answer. After the completion of the uh, Pangtomo Dam, I was uh, required to dig a canal starting from the Pangtmo uh, Dam uh, uh, to Rumche village. Question. Could you tell the court Question. after the construction completed, 
Was there any ceremony held mm. at that time? Après les travaux, y a-t-il une cérémonie? Answer: No. Réponse: No. Question. Question. Could you tell the court the size of uh, Tropiangmo Dam? Pouvez-vous nous dire euh, quelle était la taille du barrage? Answer. The Pentmo Dam, the barrage of the Trapentmo. The base of the uh, Trapentmo Dam was the base, plutôt, uh, seven to eight uh, meter wide, and the crest of the dam uh, was uh, ten to fifteen meter wide. Plutôt avait 7 ou 8 mètres de large et la cime avait une dizaine de mètres de large. Could you tell the court about the people who were working in that Tropiang Mall construction site? Where were they from? D'où provenaient-ils? Answer. Réponse. The worker who participated in the construction were gathered from Sector 15 and il sector 15 sector consisted of Pronet Prea, Series of Pond, Mopu, and Pnum Srok District. Question Were there Question. any female male workers and as well as children in that uh, construction site? Answer. Réponse. There were middle-aged workers, youth, male, des jeunes, des hommes, female, des and also adolescent. Il y avait aussi des adolescents. Question. Question. What Question. was their uh, age range? Quel âge avait-il Quelle était la fourchette d'âge de ces adolescents Answer. Their age range from uh, 15 to 18 years old. Entre 15 et 18 ans. Question. Were there many of them in the Question. work site compared to the total uh, -il workers sur le site de in the construction of work site? Total sur le site de construction? Answer, not many of them were working in that construction site. Réponse, ils n'étaient pas nombreux à travailler sur le site. I like your mean... Prosecutor, now I have a few questions concerning the working conditions. Can you tell the court when you were working at the Trapeang Tmo Dam, what was your role at the time? Response. At the time, I was the deputy chief of a squad. Réponse. À l'époque, j'étais le chef adjoint d'une section. Question. How Question. many people under your supervision at that time? Combien de personnes supervisiez-vous à l'époque? Response. There were 30 people. 30. Question. Question. How did you divide the Task among people under your supervision. Entre les personnes que vous aviez sous votre responsabilité. Response. Réponse. As for the labor division, in the morning we would assign tasks to individual members. Nous assignons des tâches à chaque membre Question. individuel. Can you elaborate Question. it a little further plus. among the 30 people whom you uh, 
allocated the task uh, to them. How uh, did you uh, divide the task uh, for them? Response. We divided them into three different groups. Nous les divisions en trois groupes. Question. Question. Can you expand a little further as to what the, their individual responsibility was at the time? Quelles individuelles de chacun à l'époque? Response. One of my uh, subordinate uh, was the uh, cook uh, in the kitchen, and the other one was uh, the one who uh, went out uh, to catch a fish uh, to prepare food. Question. How about others? Question. Et les autres? Response. The rest uh, were tasked to carry earth. On demandait aux autres de transporter de la terre. Question. In your position as the Question. deputy chief of the court, can you uh, tell the court about your role and responsibility in supervising your uh, subordinates within your court? Et vos responsabilités en termes de supervision des subordonnés, c'est-à-dire les gens de la section. Response. Could you please repeat your Réponse. question, Mr. Prosecutor? Question. question. You said that uh, you were the chief of this court. Vous dites que vous étiez so in that capacity, de la section. could you tell the court uh, your role and responsibilities in supervising your team members or your squad members? What were your role and responsibilities then? Response. In a capacity as the deputy chief, um, generally in the morning, we had to lead uh, the squad members uh, to carry earth uh, together, and we had to supervise uh, them, and we had to uh, take care of those who were uh, sick, for instance. Question. Did you yourself participate in carrying earth with your squad members? Avec les membres de votre escouade. Respond. Yes, I did. Votre groupe. Participiez-vous au transport de la terre? Question. So within your squad of thirty members. Dans votre escouade de. Did they recruit themselves to work at the bank more? In other words, did they volunteer themselves to work at the bank more work site? Or how, how did they come to work over there? Response. It was assigned by the uh, superior at the higher level. Question. Uh, did they... Uh, have the right or were they allowed to, to protest if they, for example, did not want to go? Respond, no. Questions. In the exercise of uh, carrying uh, the earth uh, over there, did you provide them any supplies, any tools uh, to do the job? So if so, what were they? Response. There was, we provided certain uh, materials to them. For example, we provided them a hoe, uh, a mosquito net, and the earth-carrying basket. Question. Uh, was it uh, mechanized at the time? In other words, uh, did you provide them any machinery? Response. At the beginning, of course, there were some 
there were début, sûr, uh, five avait... uh, machinery. Questions. Uh, what were they for? Question. Et à quoi servaient ces machines? Response. They were for clearing the bushes uh, in the area where we had to build uh, that dike and dam. Question. So it means, uh, if my understanding correct, uh, Donc, that si those machinery was not for your squad, actually. Is that correct? Ne pas à votre Est exact? Response, no, uh, they were not for our squad. Réponse, non, ce pas pour notre escouade. Questions. In Question. carrying us to build the uh, Trepang Mo Dam, uh, did they uh, give any quota for your uh, squad to achieve or a quota for person, for per person uh, within your squad? Response. We had to uh, accomplish a three cubic meter of earth within a day per person. So in uh, this uh, quota, was it imposed by par you or by your superior? Par vous ou par vos Response, it was um, decided upon by the upper echelon. Réponse. Question. Did they uh, consult with the people uh, that a uh, three cubic meter quota is reasonable for people to accomplish for the day? Pour établir si le quota de trois mètres cubes était bien no, raisonnable en une journée. At all. Réponse, non, pas du tout. Question. In your observation, when uh, your uh, squad members uh, were working uh, there, uh, how many percent uh, of the entire squad members could accomplish three cubic meter per day? Response. At the earlier stage, you know, when uh, we had to dig only the upper layer of uh, soil and uh, the uh, dam was still low, we could complete, we could accomplish it. But later on, it was very hard to do it. Question. So could you tell us Question. the approximate uh, percentage of people who, got, uh, who could uh, accomplish it uh, when, you know, you... Uh, duck uh, deeper and then the height of the uh, dam uh, got higher. Response. Uh, only up to 20 or 30 percent of the entire squad members could achieve uh, the quota imposed. Question. So what was the plan then uh, once the upper Question. echelon learned that only 20 to 30 percent could accomplish the plan or the quota uh, imposed? Response. The upper echelon uh, summoned the uh, head of squad uh, to reiterate uh, his commitment uh, that he had to uh, try to achieve the quota imposed. Question, how did you know that? Response, when we were uh, called to attend a meeting. Question, uh, do you recall what your squad had uh, responded at the time? Question. Vous souvenez-vous ce qu'a répondu votre escouade à cette époque? Response. Réponse. At the time, uh, the époque, squad had, uh, they are not a protest at all. He accepted uh, whatever uh, he was asked to do. Tout ce lui, il acceptait tout ce qu'on lui demandait de faire. Question. 
So upon the uh, his return from the meeting, how would he delegate uh, the task or assign the task to his uh, squad members in order to accomplish uh, this quota? Response. Upon his return from the meeting, he would uh, call for a meeting among squad members, and they had to uh, make uh, a commitment altogether to accomplish this target. Question. So following the commitment, uh, were still, were still there, uh, were there still members who could not accomplish uh, this target? Respond, yes, there still were some who could not accomplish it. Question, who were in the position to uh, monitor whether or not the members accomplished the target set? Response. It was the regiment chief. Questions. Do you recall his name? Response. Yes, I do. Question. So what happened uh, following the uh, commitment, uh, then certain members could not achieve the target set. Uh, what would happen to them? Response. Once they could not achieve the target set, uh, at the times, uh, they did not uh, penalize uh, the members, uh, but they would call those people to uh, self-criticize uh, sessions or refashion. Question. Uh, can you please uh, expand on that a little bit? Uh, how did they do it in the uh, self-criticism sessions and refashion session? Response. For self-criticism and refashion uh, session, uh, they um, commented that uh, the reason why we could not uh, accomplish the target set was due to our laziness uh, and our commitment. We did not have a firm commitment uh, uh, to accomplish this task. Question. So when people were criticized for being lazy, uh, did you know whether or not they applied any measures uh, in order to uh, correct uh, this situation? Response. No, I, I've, I never saw any... Uh, Things like that. Non, je rien vu de tel. Question. Thank you, Mr. Question. Witness. Uh, I have only uh, f the last uh, few questions. Merci, le témoin. I would like you to tell uh, the court derrière. about the working hours. Uh, how many hours uh, did they have to work at the time? Les et vous par Response. Réponse. In the morning, we had to get to the le work matin, site at 7 a.m. and then we uh, broke for lunch at Ensuite, 11 and then we resumed work at 1 and we finished the work for the day at 5. Notre à 5 Question. Question. How about at night? Uh, were they required to work at night? Response. Réponse. Uh, sometimes they were required to work at night too. Parfois, il la nuit. Question. Uh, so, uh, Question. how many hours did they have to work and what time did Combien they start and what time did they finish? Response. Uh, from 7 uh, in the evening uh, till 10 at night. Thank you.
Question. Accusation. Je vous remercie. Were there any instances when um, there were some urgencies which require uh, your members to work beyond 10 p.m. in the, in, in the evening? Respond, yes, never. Question. Can you expand it uh, further on that? Uh, until what time were they required to work in such instance? Response. When we um, were about to finish uh, the project, we had to uh, carry uh, Earth uh, the whole day and uh, uh, 24 hours actually around Nous the clock, but uh, there were four shifts uh, from 7 to 10, and then uh, from 10 to 1, de from 1 to 3 a.m., and from 3 to 5 early in the morning. Question How long did uh, this uh, particular uh, task? last a response. Uh, it did not last long, actually. It took only five days uh, to uh, complete this. Questions. Uh, did you work uh, consecutively, uh, continuously over five days period? Respond. Yes, uh, we work uh, five days in a row until we completed the task. Question. So are you telling the court uh, that during this five days period, workers had to work both day and night? Respond, yes. Question. How about your uh, squad members, uh, the overall uh, conditions uh, for, for them, uh, did you observe that uh, they uh, could still work in five days in a row? Response. Well, some members could not uh, uh, do it, and they fell, fall asleep uh, over there at the site. Questions. How about the uh, female members and uh, the teenagers? Response. For teenagers, uh, they were not required uh, to uh, to do as the adult. Question. How about the female members? Response. Uh, for females, uh, they had to take turn as well. Uh, they had to be in the shift too. Questions. Uh, I have one last question. When you were working there, um, did you have the freedom to room around or to go anywhere you wished uh, to go, for example, to visit your house? Response, no, I was not allowed to do so. Questions. When you were working there, uh, were you under surveillance? Uh, was there anybody guarding you working? Response. Yes, at night there were militia, militiamen, uh, they would uh, monitor our movement. Questions. Were they armed? Response. Some were arms, others were not. Thank you, Mr. Witness, and thank you very much, Mr. President. I have no further questions. I would like to cede the floor to my international colleague. The President, yes, uh, international prosecutor, you may proceed. Good afternoon to the judges, counsel. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I have a few more questions in regard to the working conditions to follow on from my national colleague. 
Did you ever hear of the Trapang Tama Dam worksite being referred to as a hot battlefield? Uh, could you please uh, repeat your question? Certainly. Did you ever hear of the Trapang Tama Dam worksite being referred to as a hot battlefield? Yes, I have. And where did you hear that? Question, et où avez-vous entendu cela? I heard uh, from the word of mouth, actually. Uh, people uh, talk from one to another that uh, Tupang Tmor used to be the uh, hot battlefield. And what did you understand that to mean when you heard it? Question. Et lorsque vous avez entendu cela, qu'avez-vous compris que cela signifiait My understanding was that uh, that place uh, must have Réponse. been a very big battlefield where fighting occurred. Très grand champ de bataille où il y avait eu des combats. And I know you mentioned earlier that the Trepang Tama Dam was completed in 1977. Do you remember which month it was completed in? The dam was uh, completed in uh, April. 1977, just a little uh, before uh, the uh, Khmer New Year. I believe you stated earlier that février et avril 1977. Bah. Yes. Réponse, oui. And while you were working on the dam, were you ever told of the date by which the leadership wanted the dam to be completed by? Well, I heard uh, from others that we had to complete it before Khmer New Year. And do you know who it was who instructed that it needed to be completed before Khmer New Year? Et savez-vous qui avait donné cette instruction selon laquelle les travaux devaient être terminés d'ici la nouvelle année Khmer? Bah. Uh, he was uh, Taval. And who was Taval? Question, who was Taval? Taval Kume. Taval was the commander in charge of uh, Trapang Moor construction site. And do you know why it had to be completed before the Khmer New Year? That I do not know. 
do you ever remember uh, do you remember ever seeing people get sick Question at the work site? Je n'ai jamais vu qui que ce soit tomber malade. Mais vous vu les gens tomber malade sur le site de travail. But Yes, I have. Réponse. Oui, j'ai vu. And what types of illnesses do you remember people having or what types of symptoms? Question, vous souvenez-vous des symptômes dont souffraient les personnes ou des maladies qu'ils avaient? But qui tiran rou they normally suffer Réponse, from diarrhea and some fevers. Et de fièvre. And at that time, did you have any understanding of why they were getting fevers or diarrhea? Well, the reason being is that uh, they have to work under the uh, direct sunlight uh, and they eat the food uh, without proper hygiene. Why do you say that the food did not have proper hygiene? What was unhygienic about the food? But there were many plies uh, during that time. And why did the presence of many flies make the food unhygienic? But answer. When we came to have our meal, uh, we could uh, see our meal roomed around by flies. Do you remember on average how many people would get sick every day or be sick every day? But answer. I knew only what happened in my uh, platoon. Uh, uh, two, three, or five of them uh, got sick section, per day. And when people got sick, were they given any medicine? Et lorsque les gens tombaient malades, est-ce que l'on donnait des médicaments? Not commu Answer: No. No. So if someone got sick, how did they recover? Answer. Some uh, worker or uh, got recovered because uh, they uh, used uh, traditional Medicines. Grâce à des médicaments traditionnels. And who would give Question. them the traditional medicines? Et qui leur avait donné ces médicaments? Traditionnels. But réponse. Answer. There was a medic within the mobile unit. Au sein de l'unité mobile. And from your position at the time, did the medic appear knowledgeable in medicine? À l'époque, est-ce que ce soignant semblait être qualifié ou avait des connaissances de médecine? Answer: No. Pas vraiment. Non. There were only rabbit trapping pills. Il n'y avait que ces pilules en forme de croix de lapin. The medic that provided Question. the rabbit dropping Et pellets, did that person seem to have or appear to have knowledge of medicine? Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. President, you may not proceed, uh, Mr. Cooper. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Um, I object to this question. Um, unless uh, this witness has some personal relationship with this particular medic, I had conversations with him about his professional background or medical background, uh, then the witness might be able to give an answer to that question, but that has to be established first. But just off the cuff, asking this witness whether somebody had some medical background uh, uh, is a question that this witness couldn't answer. Mr. President, I can ask a couple of backgrounds. President, you may not proceed. Sorry, I can ask a couple of background questions before that. Uh, Mr. Witness, did you ever see uh, one of the medics administer uh, or provide the rabbit dropping pellets to anyone who was sick? Si euh, ce soignant avait donné des pilules en forme de corde de lapin à quelqu'un qui était malade ou d'autres médicaments. Bad, bad. Réponse. Answer yes. Oui. And did you ever talk to these medic or avez the medic that you saw provide the uh, que vous avez the medicine qu'il a donné les médicaments? Bad, bad. Réponse. Answer oui. yes. I talked to them. Oui, je lui parle. And what can you tell us about their experience or their training in medicine? Answer, I do not know about that. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave now, I'd like to uh, read a portion of the witnesses statement uh, that he provided to the investigating judges to see if I can refresh his memory. President, you can do so, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Uh, this is um, a statement uh, E3 slash 7803 at English ERN 0027782 Kamai 00267755 and French 0048608484. And this is what it says, quote, medics came to provide treatment, but there was no good medicine, just rabbit pellet medicine. The medics had no knowledge or experience. Some were illiterate. For instance, the medic Tamal, who was stationed at the company to treat the people, could not read a single letter of the alphabet. Mr. Witness, hearing that, does that refresh your memory? As to your perception of the qualifications of the medics. Answer. It is true what you have just read. Was there water available to Question. drink at the construction site? Y avait-il de l'eau pour boire sur le chantier? Answer. Réponse. At the outset, there was enough food for us to drink. Au début, il y avait assez de nourriture et de quoi boire. Uh, sorry, I think there there was a mix-up in the in the. The translation. Was there water available for you to drink at the work site? Answer. At the outset, there was enough water for us to drink. Later on, after the completion of uh, the Bangtmore Dam, uh, we went to build another dam, and at that place there was not enough water to drink. At the Trapang Tama Dam, do you know where the water that you would drink would come from? Answer. 
the water original originated from a stream nearby. Do you know if it was purified in any way to make it uh, drinkable before it was provided to you? But answer no. President, thank you, Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor. It is now convenient time for a short break. The chamber will take will take a short break from now until three o'clock. Court officer, please find a proper place for this witness during the break time and please invite him back into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.